Understanding somatotypes. There are three different body types you need to be aware of ready for your level two principles exam. Now with these, we're gonna keep them super simple as we cover all three of these, and we're even gonna relate it to energy systems and muscle fiber types as well. So here goes. The first one is ectomorphs. These are tall and slim. So with an ectomorph, they generally have a very low body fat percentage, and they find it easy to burn off fat but they also find it hard to build bulky muscle. Now the reason for that is because they have predominantly type one muscle fibers in their body, which means that they're great at aerobic training and endurance events, because that's what type one muscle fibers are responsible for, but type one muscle fibers don't like to increase in diameter as much. So that means that they, they don't have as much of a capability to gain that muscle mass and bulk that you might see in other body types. The second body type is an endomorph. Now an endomorph is the opposite extreme to what we've just dis discussed. They generally are a little bit shorter and wider, and they generally have a slightly longer torso compared to their arms and legs, which are slightly shorter. So they have slightly different dimensions on their body compared to the ectomorph. But alongside that, they also find it much harder to do say aerobic work or to lose fat easily and this is because they have type 2b muscle fibers as their predominant muscle fiber so they are great at power at strength and they build muscle and gain muscle mass very very easily the third one is a mixture between the two now this is a mesomorph a mesomorph is kind of this happy medium place and a mesomorph is generally got wide shoulders and a narrow hips and they gain muscle mass quite easily they can lend themselves to lots of different sports lots of different athletic abilities because they predominantly have type 2a muscle fibers now type 2a muscle fibers are adaptive they can act a little bit more aerobic they can act a little bit more anaerobic and they're great at being able to increase in size as well so a mesomorph is that happy medium place in the middle. Now you know about all three somatotypes, let's test your knowledge. This is a mock question typical of what you might find in your level two principles exam. So here goes. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pop your answers in the comments box below and then I'll go through the answer in just a moment's time. So the question, what characteristics are typical of an endomorph? Is it A, wide shoulder, narrow waist? Is it B, predominantly type 2B muscle fibers? Is it C, predominantly type 1 muscle fibers? Or is it D, low body fat? What I want you to do is read through the question, take your time and read it again if you need to. Really consider everything we've just gone through in that whistle stop tour of all the somatotypes and pop your answer in the comments box below. So let's go through the answer. The answer is B predominantly type 2b muscle fibers and that's because the endomorph was the shorter more rounded of the type shapes that we looked at and remember we said that they have more type 2b muscle fibers because these are the ones that grow in size considerably and they're very good at strength and power work now the wide shoulders narrow waist would be a mesomorph the predominantly type 1 muscle fibers would be an ectomorph, and then the low body fat would be an ectomorph, or potentially into a mesomorph, but generally thereafter an ectomorph. If you'd like to download another 50 of these mock questions as a really great way of helping you prepare for your level 2 principles exam, then all you need to do is click the link that's with this video, and you can get them emailed directly to you. If you like this video, make sure you hit the little thumbs up button subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.